Okay, so we're going to take a look at how we can work in fireworks to really create prototypes, to create pretty in-depth prototypes for websites. So what we have here is a header and a nav bar that was created. And what we're going to see that it's actually very easy to go in and create the other pages through working with the pages. Okay, so if you look at my workspace too, just to do a quick recap. I have this set with iconic mode with panel names and I can see that I have all of these panels over here. All right, first thing I want to do is if I was creating a website for a user, for a client, I have my header, I have my nav bar. Now I want to create and have the body. So what I want to do real quick is just with this image is I want to change the size of my canvas. So I come to modify canvas, canvas size and I'm going to say that I want to up the canvas size. <clears throat> I'm going to set my height at 900 and I'm going to set this at 1200. So if I look at, you know, this is something an interesting place to look at. The resolution of monitors continues to change. So today it's the year 2012 and probably, you know, in another two years, this will all be different, especially as we move more and more towards each day. All right, so I want my anchored point to be up at the top. So I want this canvas to grow based on what's underneath. And I could also say, actually, I want to put that right there. Let's say for the height, we'll put that right there. We'll move that over if we need to, and we'll say, okay. And there we have it. We can see that we have this um, shape. Our canvas has grown the size of it. it has. Now, let's say I wanted to put a background color behind this. That's another very easy thing to do. I can come to modify canvas, canvas color, and I could choose a custom color. I can come on in here and I can find something that I like. I can come on in. Let's see. Let's see. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Why not? We'll give it a shot. Um, not so wild about that, but that's okay. We'll stick with it for now. All right, so maybe I have my header, I have my nav bar. Now, on each page, I want to have a custom region that's underneath, and this is where things will change. But if we look at website design, usually there is the header, the nav bar, and then there's a body underneath, a container underneath, uh, a bat, whatever it may be, that continues to change. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on into my shape tool. I'll draw a rectangular shape and I'll fill this up. Whoops, and I have a circle. That's not what I want. I'm going to click my little arrow, change that over, have a rectangular shape, and I can now draw this in. Now, if I wanted to, too, I could change the color of that. Again, I would do this all through my properties panel, and I have a lot of options. If I wanted to add in a drop shadow, I could do that. So let's see, let's see, let's see. We want to come on into shadow, drop shadow, voila. Uh, what else can we do? We can come back into adjust color, hue saturation. We could actually, let's see what else. There's a lot, there's a lot of things. I think you know you can spend time playing around in here. Right now we're just gonna I'm just gonna keep it simple. All right, so here's my page, and this is pretty much you know how what every page is going to look like then there's going to be different features throughout so what I'd want to do right now is I want to open up my layers and I'd want to come to this thing called pages hmm and what I see is that this is my first page that I've created now if I was creating a website and let's say I have one two three four five six maybe what I want to say is oh you know in designing this prototype for this website what I want to do is create a master page, create the six pages, and then I can go about designing them in fireworks. So what I want to do with this with this one highlighted, I want to right click the layer or control click if you are on a Mac, and I'm going to set this page as the master page. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create two, four, six new pages. This one will be homes, Images, Multimedia, Writings, Links, Contact. I come on into page one. I'm going to name this one Home. So what you can see is I'm actually creating the pages whoopsie, for this site. Im images. Now, 
it does give it a little bit of a page images multimedia for this one I can come into writings All about how you click this to get it to change the name of it it's kind of like a click and a contact all right so there we go I have my six pages now what I want to do now is I want to click up on my master page now this is what we're gonna find if we're on the master page and I said you know I didn't really like that background color too much well the beautiful thing is I can change it on one page and it will change on other everyone so I come to modify canvas canvas color and again I could choose another 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 color completely uh, so maybe I want to lighten this I'll go for this one I'll say okay you know what we find as I just did that I'm on my master page and I changed the color but when I come to these, hmm, the color isn't changed. So what I need to do then is I need to come, I need to control click, and I need to say link to master page, and there the color changes. And I, I believe we could, let's see if we shift click, and then we say link to master page, all of the color now, and that's a way to, to update it. Okay, all right, so here goes. Now, I can also make these all link to one another, so I can come to the master page, and I can click on home. Now I want to do this on the master page. So I come up here, I click home, and then I can come onto my properties panel and I can link these all up. So I can say link home.htm. I can click on images. I can come up to here and I can say link images. Now, if you're not sure how I sliced up this video, check out my uh, video on creating a header and nav bar in Fireworks CS5. I want this one to link to multimedia. I'll click that to there. I want this one to click to writings. I'll click that to right there. I want this one to click to links. I'll come on in, click that right to there, and then going on to contacts, which is this right here. So now this is what happens too. Now I can come on into my home page and I can start to add in what I want to. Now, when I put something on the master page, I can link it and make it appear on all the pages, but this is where the content is going to start to differ. So just quickly to show you, and I think you can probably see you're only limited by your imagination. You're only li limited by your own thoughts. Um, but just to get through this quickly, what we could do from in right here is we would come on in and I actually, we could come and we could just put some home info goes here. Okay, again, we come to images and we could say, you know, images go here. Image gallery goes here. Okay, and I think we get the idea. Multimedia goes here. Right, but again, when we come up to our master page, none of that's there. We know where we are just by clicking on to our different pages. So again, what we see here is this is a really great way that we can go about building and creating a website.